How about the point, the thing about signs point to Jaden Daniels and the commanders? Weren't there reports that their meeting didn't go so well? They're face to face with Daniels and the Redskins. And didn't Daniels send out smoke signals about wanting to be elsewhere, like maybe even here? I know that he was not the most impressive quarterback of the combine. That's probably where the face-to-face meeting was, if not the pro day. But he's also coming to Washington this week. Uh, So they're going to have another face-to-face meeting, probably an overnight like he had here. That's going to matter more to me. Come in our system. Come in our building. We're going to draw plays. How do you react to this? That's the most important meeting. So we'll see. I I believe Schefter, the most important thing I heard there, though, wasn't signs point to or it's expected. It's we stand by it. Right. He can't go back on that now. He said it twice and reminded you the second time this is where we stand. Yeah, I think the other thing with, with Schefter is he says it's unlikely that the Patriots would move out of, off of that position. And I think what he's trying to say is not that the Patriots are against trading down, but when you trade down, where are you going? And if you go down to where the Raiders are, do you have a player in mind that you still like when you get to that spot? When you get to the Raiders spot, is there a quarterback specifically that you still think is worth drafting? Because if you trade that away already, you already talked about Caleb Williams is gone, Jane Daniels is gone. That, whoever is in that three spot, it's either McCarthy or uh, it's Drake May is gone. And by, you get to, by the time you get to the 11, the guy you didn't pick at three, who wasn't picked at three, is going to be gone too. So do you love Bo Nix? Do you love Michael Penix hmm. as much as Michael Felger does? And so and maybe that's why they're reluctant to trade. They'll they're, they're open to trading, but it's got to be the right partner. Maybe the Raiders are the wrong partner. And that's too far back for me. I mean, it's yeah. also the, the equity you're getting back. What are the other picks? Because we talk about, oh, you get three first-round picks. One is the one you get when you move back nine spots. No, that doesn't count. You're moving back. That's a net loss. You get two or three. I'm willing to go back to 12 if you give me four first-round picks. 25, 26, 27, 28. Something to overwhelm me because then you're missing out on neighbors. Marvin Harrison Jr., uh, Roma Dunze, Joe All, Olu Fashanu, like all of the best receivers, tackles are going to be gone before then. By so 13? The Patriots, yeah, I think so. But all those quarterbacks, all those receivers, all those tackles are gone at 13? That's the type of draft it is. Those are the type of needs that those teams have in that range. And if you're the Patriots, it's deep at receiver and offensive tackle. But again, if I'm going that far back, you have to make it more than worth my while. If I want to trade back, I'm looking at seven or eight or maybe nine. Okay. Uh, let's get to what you wrote last week because it's it, it's Jermaine. So last week the JJ McCarthy rumors sort get of picked up Callahan, to the to Patriots. Get, okay, so here, here they, it is. listen, <laughs> the rumors picked up last week. At which point Andrew Callahan basically went in the Herald and said fake news. <laughs> said people who did that are making it up. People who are doing that are bored. The words are on the screen. Read them. I, you know what? That's not what's in front of me. Basically, I'll just summarize. If you're saying J.J. McCarthy to the Patriots, then you're making it up or you're bored because it's silly season. Now I ask you, Michael Holly, among many other reputable reporters, have come out and said J.J. McCarthy to the Patriots is a very real proposition. Do you still think people are making it up? I never said they're making it up. I said it's inseparable. You can read the quotes. They're on the paper. They were on the teleprompter. They were on the screen. At home. I'm they're teasing wide. you. Go Get ahead. The DVR. Here's the thing. Is it silly it, season or is it legit? It's, it's silly season. But in that same column, I said this could be a possibility. It's just a new possibility that we've only heard about in silly season. This is a guy we've all regarded on the media side. Granted, to be outside of the top 15, top 20 players in this entire draft, someone who's not worthy of a top three pick, I am positive that the NFL thinks highly of McCarthy, the way that he plays, the way that he won, even though this is a team sport, and the way he fits the prototype. And I'm a little bit higher on him, honestly, than I was eight, nine days ago when I wrote that that? column. Why? I watched every single throw. I watched every single run. And when you look at the whole totality of the picture, which the first column I had written after four or five games watching their totality, this was all cut-ups now since then, he makes – every single throw, and he operates over the middle of the field better than I thought. And that was what was separating him from May, from Jane Daniels, and certainly Caleb Williams in my mind earlier. All right, so do you, would you be shocked if the Patriots, if the Patriots don't trade up? They, number three, they say, we got Drake May or J.J. McCarthy. Nope, we're taking McCarthy. That's our guy. Would you be shocked, and would that be the right move? <sighs> <laughs> so you're, you're – this is your fault. You're contributing to this. You've said it. Mm-hmm. Mike Giardi has said it. Mm-hmm. Others have come forward and said they really like him. But Tony Pauline. I don't like him. Who's comment. I don't like him, but I, think, <laughs> but I don't like him. But I know, I know they do. Reputable people had yeah. said they like him. To me, it would be a disappointment. I said it when we did that first show nine days ago, and I came on and talked about that same column. I'll say it again. Now, there is a gulf in my mind between May and McCarthy and their NFL potential and the prospects they are now. It would be, it would be a mistake. Okay. And would it be a mistake for the wrong reasons? Meaning, 
Is Possibly, that, yes. You know, it's not just straight up we think this guy's better. We think he's safer. Yes. Or he's more coachable or it's something like that. Do you think it would be done for the wrong reasons? Yeah, possibly. Because, again, we talk about, oh, he's a winner and he won in high school. He won in prep school. He won in Michigan. Out of every single game that he stepped on the field last year, he had the better team. That's not going to be the case here in New England for your first two, three, four years. The other part is if he's the safe pick, maybe for someone who's in a contract year in Elliott Wolf, who in his first free agency didn't spend a ton of his boss's money. Wise move if you want to keep your job. And Elliott's confident that he'll keep this. To me, I don't want to make the scared pick. You're at three. You don't want to be here again. Take the guy with the best upside who can be and win the way that okay. the best quarterbacks are. It's not McCarthy. Yeah. Here's what I really want to ask you off that column last week. That if, it, if people are making it up or if teams are just throwing out misdirection, which is obviously possible. Like, I, I, I don't know. Especially you know? this time of year. Okay, yeah. this yeah. time of year. Teams yeah. throw out trial balloons and misdirection all the time. So let's say the Patriots are fueling this hype on J.J. McCarthy. Why? To what end? What, are they try- what, what do they want to happen to get teams to bite on J.J. Who do they want to bite on J.J. McCarthy and why? Well, this noise, let's call it that, or some mixed reporting, comes after the Vikings moved up to 11. J.J. McCarthy fits the mold of a Shanahan quarterback, plays on time, makes short throws, is going to plug in the system, make everything else work, he'll take the checkdowns. If Minnesota really loves McCarthy, as opposed to Jaden Daniels, and they expect – Caleb Williams to go one, then Drake May to go two, and it's McCarthy and Daniels, and they know that team who just traded up, obviously for a quarterback, likes one of the two guys, we'll send out all the signals. If you want to come get us at three, first of all, we're going to take your guy, and second of all, it's going to cost you, as I said, okay. four first-round picks. So, but that means the Patriots don't want any of the top four guys. That's what that means, then, if, if what you're saying is right. Or they look at this and say, we'll take Jaden Daniels up until the point we might get an offer for four first-round picks. I think they're trying to create more options Which for Which means they can live without Jaden Daniels. They can, they can live without some of the, right, right. That's the what that is, means. And you're right, because the question is, point. where's the cutoff, though? Where's the cutoff? Well, no, 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 no. Yeah. If you think Jaden Daniels is Patrick Mahomes, you don't take any offer. So if you're willing to take four but not three, it means you still don't really think he's the – if you think he's the guy, there is no offer. Well, you there's take. a difference between the guy and a guy you can win with. Like Caleb Williams has been the Patrick Mahomes, which is always overstated. Mahomes is a one-on-one, might be the greatest quarterback ever. But if you think Jaden Daniels is a top-five guy, you're right. Take him. They might just go, we think he's top-10 or 12. Let me answer – because again, everyone has a price. I asked this on the radio today, and Maz gave me the simple answer, which is right in front of our face. Let's say the Patriots really want Drake May. Drake May's their guy. Yes. So they're feeling the J.J. McCarthy hype to get the dumb commanders to take J.J. McCarthy so Drake May is left for them at three. Like, that would be a reason to do it. Except, except you don't have to work that hard because the commanders are either going to take Jaden Daniels or, or, or McCarthy. If they want May, if they, you say you, the Patriots really like May? Yeah. If the Patriots really like May, they're going to get him. May will be there at three. I think it's either, for the commanders, it's either McCarthy or Daniels. Do you know this at, or you think two. this? I think it. <laughs> I love it. Yes. I love it. Come on, Come on Making it up.